What's up guys? Welcome back. You are here in Draw School, episode eight. The last one I showed you guys how to draw the torso and before that I showed you guys how to draw the mouths. Hopefully you guys have clicked the notification bell so you get a notification every time I post a video. If not, do that right now. Go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. All right, so in this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to draw the arms. So, roll my intro. Hey, let's jump into it. Now you're probably wondering, why are there a bunch of torsos right here? I thought we were learning how to draw some arms. Well, we are gonna learn how to draw some arms, but I figured we can have a starting point from the last video. So if you didn't watch the last video, this is what we learned, guys. We learned how to draw the torso from the front, from the side, from the three quarter view and from the back. And I'm gonna show you guys how to add arms to those views now. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's talk about proportions. Proportions, guys, proportions, proportions, proportions. What are proportions again from my first video? Proportions are how to draw things the right size so that they do not look weird. Okay, so arm proportions. This is the arm socket here, right? So I'm sketching right into the socket. The arm starts in this socket. We start this here. I usually put a little point in the middle of that circle, right? To find the elbow, we go down and then around the rib cage area. You guys remember this is a cavity in your bones and these are your ribs here. And this is your sternum here, right? And your ribs connect there. So your elbow usually lines up here with the rib cage. Now the second, part of your arm is your forearm. And this line is usually the same length as this arm. So this length should be the same as this length. In general, guys, always in general, these are general rules to follow. Some people are different, you know? I see basketball players who I feel like they can touch their toes standing up because they, their arms are so long. And you know, that could be a really good advantage if you're a boxer as well. But in general, this line is the same length as this line. Boom, proportions, done, we talked about it. This is how I usually start an arm. So from the front angle, I would draw the joint for the shoulder. Then I would start a cylinder to here, to the elbow. Then I would draw the elbow joint. And you see how they're interlocking with each other, right? So the circle is going into the cylinder and this circle is going into the cylinder. And then for the forearm, I will do another cylinder. This one tapers down to the bottom. Taper means to gradually decrease in size or gradually do something to taper. You can get a taper haircut where your hair goes from really short to a little bit longer, a little bit longer as you go up. So we have the shoulder joint, forearm cylinder, or not the forearm, the bicep cylinder and the elbow joint, now the forearm cylinder, and then you can do the wrist joint, and then your hand would go from there, which it can be balled up in a fist right here. But we're gonna get into hands, maybe next video, guys. You never know, that might be my next video. So that's what I like to do. Next is I like to set up the joints so I know where stuff is going to go. Right, and why do I do that? Let me show you guys why it's a good idea to do that. Now let's say you want to make the arm move a little bit, right? You can use this same technique. So let's say I wanna move it out a little bit more. So it's rotating around this joint right now because I'm rotating it. There used to be a pivot point that I could place right there and rotate from that section. If somebody knows where that went, please let me know because I miss it already. Oh, I found it. <laughs> okay, so you see this? Cool, so that's a joint and that's how it really moves. That's why drawing this is so awesome. All right, so let's say I want it to move. And I'm sorry guys that are drawing in paper because you obviously can't do this. But if you're drawing digitally, you can do this. 
But this is also a good illustration for people drawing on paper. This is why it's a good reason to draw this first. All right, so here, look at that. From this joint, you can make this arm move. That's why it's a good idea to draw these things because no matter where you put them, you can, you know, as long as you're drawing the joints where they go, you have your shoulder joint, elbow joint, and your wrist joint, and you know that this line is the same length as this line, then you are good to go. You can draw the arm in any direction you want to at this point. So we're gonna leave it there and we're gonna move on to the next step. Next step is drawing the muscles and knowing where the muscles are. Right here, we have the deltoid guys, and this is attached to the pecs, to the pectorals, just like this. There's a bunch of little muscles under there, but usually we can only see this crease there, and it kind of overlaps like that. Then tucked underneath the deltoid, we have the bicep. Back here, we have the tricep, and it's just a line, and it's smaller in length than the bicep, but the tricep group is wider than the bicep. And I'll show you that later in another view where you can see it. Behind the tricep, there's a cartilage that goes down and connects to the elbow, which is around this region. So you kind of draw a line down and then a protrusion or a stick out, something that sticks out, that's a protrusion for the elbow. And then you draw a curving line down. You follow your cylinder all the way to the wrist. There's a muscle group that comes from here and goes around. I'm not gonna tell you what that, guy, what that is because it's not really that important. You just have to know how to draw it. But if you're interested, learn all these anatomy terms and you will be better for it, I promise. Okay, so it curves and it comes down to your wrist. Let's close that off. And there's a bone here. And you can throw a line up like that and I'll show you why. There's a very important muscle in your arm and it's called the brachioradialis. The brachioradialis, I'm gonna refer to as the magic forearm muscle. The only muscle that you really have to worry about in your forearm and this is why. Because your bicep comes down to around here but then your brachioradialis or your magic forearm muscle starts and kind of like cuts it off there and goes down. And that's all you really need to know for regular arms. If you have a really muscular person, then they have like a little cut here like that. You know, it's really defined and it goes down to this line down here. And then there's other little muscles that come out of here. That, again, you can research if you'd like and it will be different on any model or any reference that you look at. Make some lines, do some shading there and you will be good to go. Okay, so that is that arm in that angle, front angle, you basically can just copy duplicate it to the other side and you will be good to go. Let's just fake draw this hand here real quick. I'm not gonna explain it because that's gonna be the next video, which hands are pretty hard to draw guys and I hope I can make it more simple for you. And this might be a little bit too far down. Let me correct that. So you see what it did? Boom. Ribs, remember that? Ribs, cuts off at the ribs, elbow, elbow, elbow. So let's move on to the side. Just like the other one, let's start with the bare minimals. We're gonna start with the basic shapes. All right, so we use that up, dot in the center, go down, find the rib cage, which is here. That's gonna be your elbow there. Then same length, try to match the length, go here. So if you can imagine some legs, which we're gonna get to at some point, guys, your hand should be like there on your leg. You can test it out on your own body if you like. Stand up, put your arms down to the side. Usually your hand lands somewhere around there. So we found the proportions. Sometimes could be a little bit lower than that. It all depends on the person you're drawing, your character. You can exaggerate if you'd like. Now do the shapes. Cylinder, cutting the joint circle at the bottom. Elbow joint circle, cylinder, and then forearm cylinder down to the wrist joint. Let's lighten this up and add some muscles. All right, deltoid goes right here, attaches to the pec, the little crease there. You have the tricep, which you're going to see a lot more prominent from this angle. The bicep comes down like this. Elbows here, guys. There's a little cartilage there. And then the brachioradialis or the magic forearm muscle is here. And you're not going to see this muscle group <laughs> on this angle because it's hidden on the other side. And then you make a line down and connects there. That is 
a side arm. The elbow shows a little more on this side. This one I might have made exaggerated a bit on this one. So you don't really have to make it that prominent. I was just showing you guys where it goes. Three quarter view. We love our three quarter views, guys. Just throw a circle here, dot in the middle, go down to the ribs. And I like to draw the lines a little bit out because nobody really keeps their arms straight to their sides like this. That's weird and robotic so i throw them out a little bit put the dot there and then i kind of make them loose again towards the inside and that's something that's cool to play with on the three-quarter view so you go out to the elbow back in to the wrist same length here same length here hopefully you guys are remembering that try to drill it into your head somebody once told me you don't quite learn something until you get tired of hearing it so i'm gonna make you guys get tired of hearing stuff sometimes shoulder ball joint cylinder down to the elbow cylinder at the elbow joint and then forearm cylinder and wrist joint let's put muscles on that same thing as the others connected to the pecs big strong shoulder blades bicep connected from that little crease there tricep coming from the back a little cut there everybody sometimes everybody has a little cut there when we flex the tricep in the magic forearm muscle cuts the bicep there and the elbow right there down to the wrist and go up there it is guys three quarter view muscles sometimes you can add a little line here and then shade your shade as you'd like make it look round make it look nice and 3d from the back Let's find our proportions. That down to the bottom of the ribs. Same amount of line to the wrist. Cylinder here, down. Elbow joint, cylinder here, down. Wrist joint. Now this one looks a little funky sometimes when you start to add muscles, but let's do it. Let's do it. So deltoid comes out and it does attach to your shoulder blade. Muscle here, like so. And then your tricep kind of looks like two muscles even though tri means three because the other one's kind of tucked behind this one on the side of your bicep and then you have a little cartilage here that's connected to your elbows and then that kind of goes down like so the magic forearm muscle you can see only a little bit only a little bit it's on the outside of the forearm tuck it like that like it's going to the front, you go down, you go down, line down to the wrist, and there you go. Hopefully you guys learned a lot from this. Please leave me some comments. There might be tons of stuff that I missed. So if you want to know something else about the arms, feel free to contact me. Leave me some comments. You can send me an email to contactdrawschool at gmail.com and I swear I will reply to you guys, okay? Because I want to make sure you guys got this. So thank you. And I'll talk to you after I draw this next arm with some reference. Perfect. So that was it guys that was how to draw the arms nothing to it but to do it and guess what it's sketchbook giveaway time in this month's sketchbook goes to mist lady arts mist lady arts please contact me so you can give me your address at contactdrawschool at gmail.com. Send me your information and I will ship this little sketchbook to you. 
All right, so I will see you guys on the next episode. Please hit subscribe, like this video if you learned something and click the notification bell because you will get notifications when I post new videos or you can just come to the channel on Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern time. All right, so see you guys on the next one.